Hey there guys, it's Melanie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited that you guys are here with me today and I'm super excited to be out doing what I'm doing. I drove about 45 minutes down south from where I live to an event called Bargains Galore on 64. So there's all these little towns in West Arkansas that are along Highway 64 that are hosting these flea markets and yard sales. I haven't been before, this is my first time. I think last year it was canceled, but it's back on this year. So I am out picking. This is one of my absolute most favorite things to do is just driving around and going junking and seeing what I can find. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and hopefully we can have some fun today and find some awesome things. If you're not a subscriber to the Lost and Found channel, before we get going, I just wanna ask that you join us in our community. We have lots of fun around here. So that said, let's get going and let's see what we can find. my very first stop. There wasn't a ton to look through, but I was just excited to be out. I did find a box of freebies that I dug through a little bit. I found this cool piece that I'll definitely tell you more about later. Just scored a whole little pile of stuff for free. Just big boxes of free stuff, so can't beat free. I right, found a couple things, um, a pile of free stuff and a cute little green glass piece. And there was a sign for four free puppies. And I'm gonna confess, I'm super tempted to take one home. I think I'd be in serious trouble though when I got home. So we'll pass on the puppies, but let's keep going and see what else we can find. had some pretty good furniture finds. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm in the market for any beds, but I really liked this old oak filing cabinet. Unfortunately, it just was probably too damaged to do much with, but it was a pretty piece. And if you were in the market for silk florals, this was the garage sale you needed to be at for sure. really had a lot of great glassware including um, the set of some mid-century glasses that was a nice find. I didn't take those home with me. I was tempted but I passed. I also passed on this little decanter set but I did grab some other things from the sale that I'll definitely show you more later. One of the things that I really enjoyed about this trip was just driving through some of these small towns that I've never been to before. This was Dyer, 
and I also passed through Mulberry and Altus, and then eventually wound my way into Ozark. But just take a look at these old buildings. Don't you just wish that small towns like this could be revitalized and we could find some use for these gorgeous old stores? I know that I do. for five bucks. So I uh, found some cool treasures in there digging. I love digging through boxes. That's you just, that's the best way to do it. Got a nice set of prints too. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's starting to get hot. Probably tell I'm a little, a little sweaty. So um, this is where it starts to get a little ugly <laughs> as the heat picks up and the sun comes out. This is dirty work, but somebody's gotta do it, right? not as glamorous as it may look on the video but I've got a little more energy in me I'm gonna keep driving just a little farther and see what else I can find So funny thing, I just asked this guy out here who's got a whole bunch of tools if he had any old paint brushes that were grimy with paint on them. And he just looked at me and started laughing. He said, why would I have any of those? I throw those in the trash. And I said, well, you need to stop throwing them in the trash. That's hot decor right now. He said, what? How, how did you know that? And then we had this conversation about how you keep on top of trends. So I told him he needs to start watching some HGTV and that he definitely needs to not throw away his old paint brushes the next time he finds some. So it was kind of a fun conversation. Unfortunately, he didn't have any, and I still haven't found any. Most people that are finding them are throwing them in the trash. And so uh, they're kind of hard to come by, but I love a collection of kind of old crusty paint brushes and I'm gonna keep looking. As I started getting into Ozark, the road got a little hillier and a little windier and it was definitely getting hotter, but I wanted to try to hit a few more sales before heading home. This was one of the very last ones that I stopped at. And just take a look at this gorgeous possum belly cabinet. It was really an incredible condition. They were asking $600, which was more than I wanted to pay, and really I don't have a use for it, but I enjoyed taking a look at it for a few minutes. Such a beautiful piece. All right, guys, I think I am going to call it a day for right now. I am hot. I need a cup of coffee, 
and I think it's just time to head back north. So I'm on my way back towards the interstate as we speak and gonna head back up to home and then we'll take our haul out, look through everything and I'll show you more that I got. All right, I'm back home and I've got everything pulled out from the deals galore on 64 garage sales that I went to. Man, that was a hot day. I'm glad to be back here in the air conditioning, all cleaned up. And I've got this amazing haul to share with you guys today. Some of it you saw in the video, a few things you didn't, but I wanna let you look at it a little bit closer. It was really a great, great event. I spent, I think, maybe $85 total on everything that I bought. And again, most of these items are either gonna go in my Facebook Live sale that I do regularly or up to my antique booth. I may wind up keeping a few things, but most of these things I'm looking to resell for profit. So um, if that gives you an idea of the kind of things that you can try reselling, awesome. But let's get going. Okay, so one of the places that I stopped at, the lady told me that she had actually bought out an old antique store. So she had a ton of glassware, if you remember that video with all the glassware. So let me show you guys what I got. Okay, first, um, this is, let's see, the tag on it reads, Crystal Anchor Hawking Bubble Pitcher. Isn't it beautiful? And the tag on it from the antique store is $85. I paid $10 for it. So in my neck of the woods, glassware like this is really coming back into style. Anything vintage um, pictures, specifically drinkware. I think people are using them when they're entertaining their friends um, just to you know mix up a glass of margarita or just to have some fun. Um, so these pieces are doing really, really well. And I know that I can sell it for more $10, for more than $10. I did look it up online. Um, I don't know if the value is quite at 85, but there is some value to it. And it's just a really pretty unique piece. So that was the first piece I bought. I also bought this decanter. And look at the cool like frosted glass trees and the horses. And you can see this was five bucks. So there's nothing on that side, but just the very light frosted glass. There's like a little barn. I loved it. Great piece for $5. Okay, I also purchased both of these two pieces from her. This one was $2, this one was three fantastic pieces. I've already sold two or three pieces like this recently in my live sales. Um, this is also a vintage anchor hawking piece. Um, this one, it, it might be, it's got some similar markings on it, but they're just cute little easy pieces to ship off to someone, easy pieces to throw in um, to your vintage kitchen collection. So I was really excited about these. And then this piece I just thought was kind of funky. It's got that kind of boho vibe. She had $10 on it. She gave it to me for five. Um, no markings on it, but look, it's it almost looks like tree bark or something. It's just a grass cloth. It's got that funky 70s vibe to it. So for five bucks, I thought it was a great price. Okay, so this was the last thing I bought from that stop. And this was one of the most expensive purchases of the day. It was $20, but for my $20, I got this gorgeous cut glass, large pitcher, and then four matching glasses. So 20 bucks for this set. I think it's gonna be a great and quick seller in my booth space. And again, it's so funny, stuff like this was not selling for a really long time, but now it is, it is picking up again for me. I think people are just enjoying this aspect of entertaining again. So really nice, heavy cut glass pitcher with the matching glasses for 20 bucks. I was really happy with everything that I found there. Okay, moving on to something totally different. Um, in the last video I posted talking about antique booth trends, I talked about books and how books seem to be selling more now, a little for topic, not so much for decoration. Pretty books are definitely still selling, but topical books are doing well. So I found these, um, how to do it encyclopedias, four of them, and they're from the 1960s. This one, um, let's see. They don't have names on the front. This is like volume 14. I don't know, there's a guy tiling a pool on the front, so maybe he could teach me how to tile the pool. 
but it's got these, I mean, really detailed instructions for all sorts of stuff in here. So these were a dollar a piece, and I just thought they were are really cool. Like this is a sliding spice rack, how to build a sliding spice rack. So I got the four of those. Look at this lady on the front, and she's, she's all primped up as she's helping drywall, I think is what they're doing. So love those, I thought those were a great find too. All right, another stop that I made, I just grabbed a whole little pile of stuff. I walked up and the lady said a dollar for the pile, which I thought was a great price. So that dollar a pile included another just cute little cut glass creamer and um, this little bottle, glass bottle with stopper. These things have just, stuff like this again, has been selling really well for me, surprisingly enough. And then she had these two kind of funky boho trivets that could definitely be wall decor or, you know, use as an actual trivet. And then a whole ton of baskets. I only grabbed these two, but I have another one that I bought from the thrift store the other day that is slightly bigger and matches. And so when you've got all three of them together, they make really fantastic kind of decor together. So it was a dollar for the whole, let's see, one more. A dollar for the whole pile right here. Don't you just love garage sales? Isn't that so fun? For a buck, all of it. Okay, even better than a dollar for everything is everything being free, right? There was one place that just had a box of stuff for free. So if you remember in the video, one of the things I got was this cute little basket. I might put some paint on it, I'm not sure. I might leave it as it is, but it could easily hold napkins or, um, you know, towels like in your guest bathroom. It's really nice and sturdy and it was free. I also grabbed this um, Ironstone um, salad plate. It's not in amazing shape and um, it's not English Ironstone. It is uh, marked Ironstone, but it's not really any super valuable Ironstone, but you know, for free, like it could go in my collection back here with my other plates. And then the last free grab is this I believe it is actually an ashtray, but I loved it. It's like a travel ashtray, um, all about Scotland. So it's got all these fun things from Scotland and just anybody who has visited there or lived there, I thought this would be great. I mean, ashtrays from what I hear are actually starting to sell again, as crazy enough as that sounds, but totally put a plate hanger on this and just hang it up as it is. And again, it was free. Okay, these were another great find that I don't think that you saw. They were 50 cents a piece. So they've got that kind of, again, 70s, you know, um, vintage boho vibe with that mustard, really nice, heavy drink glasses. So, um, you know, two bucks for the set of four. And staying in that same uh, kind of era in decor, I loved these two pieces of art. I love vintage art. And they are actually painted. They do have, they are signed down at the bottom. And here's this one. Aren't they pretty? And yeah, you can see it was six bucks for the two of them. So they would look great in just a little skinny wall space hanging like that. In fact, I'm just eyeing this spot in the corner of my kitchen. Maybe these will be something that I keep. But I love the colors in them. The frames are in good shape. Um, if you wanted to paint them, you could, but, um, you know, honey oak isn't my favorite, but if you're kind of doing that mid-century boho look, then these look fine as they are. But for six bucks, it was, it was, you know, great price for the pair of them. Okay. This was a little piece that I picked up for 50 cents. I've actually had something exactly like this that I had for a really long time. I used it to hold cotton balls, um, in my bathroom. And then I think in my most recent move, I got rid of it which I'm kind of mad about because I just, I, I really like it. So anyway, I saw this and I thought, oh, 50 cents, I'm gonna totally buy that little piece again. Um, it would just look really cute to just even put a little fern down in it. You can buy those little small miniature ferns or some succulents, or like I said, you can use it in your bathroom to store um, all sorts of, you know, put your toothbrush and toothpaste in there. 50 cents, green is really, really hot trending color right now. So I grabbed this. Okay, another steal was this set of, now these are, these are marked English ironstone 
little bone dishes. And it was three bucks for all three of them. One of them does have a tiny little chip on it right there, but almost even three bucks for one of them would have been a decent price. So I was excited to find three of them, a dollar a piece, marked antique iron stone, grab those two. Okay, one place that I stopped at, it was super fun. It just had uh, like boxes everywhere and Walmart, you know, sacks lying around and they said, hey, grab a sack and start digging through the boxes and you just fill up a sack for $5. So it was kind of when I was um, getting super hot and right before lunch. So I didn't dig as long as normally as I would have. I probably would have dug a little bit more, but I still filled up a nice sack and got just a great little collection of stuff for five bucks. So these were one of the things I found. Again, boho, mid-century, I mean, like they're plastic and they're painted, you know, they're not wood, but um, somebody who's doing that decorating is gonna love these. I think they were a really good find. All right, in our trending antique booth video, we also talked about animal figurines, remember? And so these were also in my $5 grab bag. I thought this one just blends. Um, they're both elephants, which is fun, but this one with the brown and the green goes kind of well with those two panels that I just showed you. Again, pop a little succulent in it and it's so cute. And this one is, you know, more of the nursery, um, kind of the traditional older colors that you find on these little animal pieces. So cute. Again, you know, stick a little faux greenery in there. I don't think I'm gonna have any trouble selling either one of these. They were in my $5 bag too. All right, one of the boxes I was digging around in, I uncovered these guys. And so it's five various sized brass candlesticks. Now, they um, have a sticker on them made in India. They're not quite as old as the older ones that were made in Korea. The brass on them is, is a little more kind of yucky brassy, not necessarily the prettier, warmer, um, kind of tarnished brass of the older pieces that we're seeing. But again, in a bag for five bucks, um, these, I just can't hardly keep them in stock. And so I'm gonna price them cheap and I think they're gonna move without any problem. All right, so the last two things in my $5 grab bag. The first one is this adorable little porcelain miniature windmill. Isn't that so cute? It says it was hand painted in Holland on the back and just anything in miniature, it's adorable. So I actually dug it out of a box and then I had a lady say, have you seen any more like that in the box? And so it was a hot item, somebody else wanted it, but I, this was the only one I saw, so I grabbed it, super cute. And then again, back to the green, I thought this was just a really pretty green bottle, that really pretty jewel tone decor. If people are you know, using that in their home, stick you know, um, some eucalyptus leaves out of this, or even just some dried branches, Great color, great little bottle size, and it was in my $5 grab bag. All right, these were the very last things I bought before I just got too hot, gave up, and went back home. And they are not necessarily my style, but again, I'm shopping to resale, and so I'm thinking about what's trending right now, and I kind of went back and forth on them, and he wound up dropping the price, and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna grab them. So I wound up paying 20 bucks for all three. And you know, they were just unique enough and different enough that I thought they would be a good buy. So there's three of them, and they are um, these just funky little owl paintings. I do like um, the chunky frames that they're in that have the carvings and the gold on them, but you know, and they're, they're mounted nice, like they're in good shape. Again, not necessarily my style, but just cool nonetheless. So here's the first one. This one's kind of funny. This guy's playing chess, <laughs> now playing chess. And then this one has really got those kind of boho colors in it. So my husband laughed when I showed them. He said, that is so totally some random thing that you would find. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. That's what makes this so fun. Who, like, where else would you find three random old owl pictures except in some guy's front yard in, you know, Ozark, Arkansas, who knows? So it was 20 bucks for all three. I think I can easily put a price tag of $20 a piece on them um, at least and sell them without any issue. So, all right, so that is my haul from my trip to the Bargains Galore on 64. It really was so much fun. 
When I lived back down in Texas, I used to go to an outdoor flea market every month that was outside Canton, Texas. I loved it. I've really missed that. I haven't found anything up here in Northwest Arkansas like that. This is the first time I've been able to just kind of drive around and really dig. Um, wish it wouldn't have been quite so hot, but still it was a lot of fun. And I think I got a great collection of stuff. But if you guys liked this video, if you enjoyed following along with me on this haul, then please give us a like, hit that little like button, and please subscribe to our channel. I'm always out hunting and picking and digging, and I'm gonna be putting these things together in my booth space, have plans for so much more great stuff to do here on the Lost and Found channel. So please join us and subscribe. And thanks so much for joining us. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.